sanctuary right now, as you probably noticed, because earlier this week I decided to go visit a friend and I decided to shoot a video while I was there so that you could be here with me too. So let's see if we can find Father Sockin and see what he's doing today at the farm. Maybe he's picking apples or harvesting corn or, or maybe wheat. Oh, there I see him over in the field, Farmer Sockin. Hello, it's Pastor Stephanie. But Father Sockin, I have to ask you, what are you doing? That doesn't look like corn to me. Why, hello, Pastor Stephanie. It's so good to see you. I'm harvesting socks. Socks? Wow, what, what about corn or wheat? Who told you about harvesting socks? Well, I'll tell you who. There were two ladies here the other day. Their names were Susan and Sue. Even I could remember them. They aren't as pretty as I am, but they did seem nice. But I'm not too happy about this sock situation because there is still corn in the fields and I need to eat, you know. It might be a long winter and here he is wasting his time on something silly like socks. I can't use socks. Pearl, how many times do I have to tell you you need to think about other people, not just yourself? We are harvesting socks for a special cause. I've already got the harvest of the corn on my schedule. You know I've always taken care of you. Look how beautiful and healthy you are. Today, we need to focus this harvest because we're going to help other people. Well, I am beautiful. <laughs> Father Sock, and that sounds like such a very nice thing for you to do. And Pearl, you know what? He's right. We really do need to think of other people, not just think about ourselves. Jesus tells us we're to love all people, and we're to take care of them and, and help people who are in need. Father Sock, and I'm so glad that Susan Scott and Sue Gibson came to see you. They probably mentioned it to me, and I probably just forgot I do that, you know, sometimes. You helped us with so many other mission projects in the past. I should have realized that you would be here ready to help us with this one. Of course I wanted to help. The two churches always have such good mission projects. I was sorry that you weren't able to collect toilet paper this year. Toilet paper? You collected toilet paper? Yes, we have. We have done that in the past, Pearl. But we couldn't do it this year because of COVID-19. So the mission team decided they needed to do something special this fall, Pearl. So they decided we would harvest socks. The socks will go to the Department of Social Services. And they are also going to go to Rise Above the Streets. They're going to help people who are poor and people who are homeless. You know how bad our winters can get around here and people need to keep their feet warm. I'm lucky. I have a really nice coop to stay in when it is cold. And he's lucky because I give him eggs to eat. We are very lucky and that's why we need to help other people. There are even more people who need help this year because oh, of the virus. Right. Well, I'm lucky to know both of you. And I'm going to take your harvest back with me today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We need everyone who is able to help us with our sock harvest. So I'm glad I decided to take this video while I was here because I want you to know about it too. We're going to be collecting socks all through the fall season. A sock harvest. Look in your emails or in your mailings or on the screen before worship and you can learn how that you can bring socks in to help too. And we need all sizes from infants to adults. It will be fun, won't it, to see how many bushels of socks we can get? We can always do more when we pull together. Father Sockin and Pearl, let's say a prayer together, okay? Okay. God, God 
Thank, Thank you, you for farmers and chickens, chickens, especially chickens, and mission committees, and all who give to help others. Bless these socks we have already gathered today, and remind us how important it is to think of others and help them when we can. Amen.